What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is the start of a new series called Rework. I'm gonna be taking your submitted UI design project files and I'm gonna be reworking them, adding my own touch, my own style, my own flair, you might say, to the project. Throughout the process, I'm gonna be offering constructive feedback to the designs as well as offering you some insights into the decisions I'm making as I'm reworking them. This is gonna be a ton of fun and I can't wait to dive in. We have two projects to look at today. Let's do it. All right, I have two projects on my desktop. Really, really excited to get started. Let's see, the first one is an app designed by Esther S. It was submitted to me on Twitter. And if you wanna submit your designs, you can. Uh, you just follow the link down in the description and check out all the details for that. But I would love to rework your work. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click on it. Uh, it's done in Adobe XD. I take all types of files, uh, XD, Sketch, Figma, whatever you wanna submit. That's cool with me, I like them all. Uh, let's see, so we are now in Adobe XD and uh, Esther has a couple different screens, okay? I am not the biggest fan of working these, um, these input fields and these buttons to match that. I don't feel like that adds a lot to the experience. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I'd rather have a clean looking user interface than something that's trying to be, I'm gonna say this, it's gonna sound really harsh, it's not meant to be harsh, but something that's a little bit hokey or kitschy, um, it's, a little, it's a little too much, I feel like. That's just me personally. So I would take these guys um, and I would just come into the input fields and I'm gonna round them all the way. Okay, now a few things, I'm gonna zoom in here that I'm not the biggest fan of is this button looks really, really cramped. It looks really, really tight. It doesn't seem like it has the room to breathe like it needs. And so I, I wanna just stretch this out a little bit. And maybe it's actually not about the size of the button as much as it is the size of the text inside the button. So let's do that, let's line things up. And now it has a little bit more space. Now the question I'm, I'm starting to ask myself is, should this button be the same size as uh, the input fields? I think so, I like that a little bit better. And I don't know why, whoa, I don't know why it has to, I'm just gonna group these together. Let's get over to our layers panel. I'm gonna group those guys together. Uh, side note, always group your buttons to make sure they're one complete thing and maybe even think about making it a component and setting the tone here so you can carry those call to actions or buttons throughout the rest of your project. Okay, I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. I wanna, I wanna just play with some spacing here. You know, I'd play with it a little bit more, but right now that looks better to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on and uh, let's keep cruising. This screen looks a little crowded, okay? It looks a little cramped. Uh, the first thing that I'm not really a big fan of is the fact that the, you have this top-centered navigation. It's not a bad thing if you want to do a top-centered navigation, but I feel like one of the reasons it's not working so great is because it's kind of, it's muddying up the whole top section of the app, right? You have navigation here, more navigation here, and then it's just having that separation of navigation is good. Also, it's a really common navigation pattern to bring your navigations down to the bottom. Why do we see bottom anchored you know, navigation elements so much? Because they work, because they're within tappable kind of like uh, the tappable range of a thumb while holding a device like this. You know, I, I, can, I can tap on the navigation easily and move around. So when you have a navigation in it, like that's working on the top, it feels like it's part of the page. It feels like a header of the page and that could be, that could be kind of tricky to swing. So um, we're just gonna take this. Now they're evenly distributed and the navigation has been moved to the bottom. I feel like it's just a more enjoyable area. Those, you have, you're gonna have less of a fat thumbs problem tapping those icons now. Okay, so I like that better. I'm gonna take this navigation and group the whole thing together and I'm gonna move it up to the top. That clears some of that space uh, for me. And then let's take one of these elements, okay? Group it together. Ooh, I'm just gonna copy it and move it over, okay? So, okay, you also have a lot, and I mean a lot of information that's really shoved into this very, you know, short little, uh, like, um, area. And I just don't feel like you need to, to shove all that information uh, into that area. I'm gonna center it, first of all.
And what we'll do is uh, I'm gonna take my repeat grid and now I can start messing with spacing because I, th I think these need to have a little bit more space in between them, like so. And they also need a little bit more space from that top navigation. Maybe not that much space, maybe a little bit less, but if we look, it's about 28. Let's just make it a nice even 25. And then we're about 25 from the top. Okay, that seems pretty good to me. I think using some of the kind of consistent design patterns that you find in mobile design, it would help you in this instance, as well as thinking a little bit more about space um, and legibility. And yeah, just overall, give things a little bit more space. Let them breathe, but really, really nice work. I like it, moving on to number two. All right, second submission for the day is from an unknown. I actually have to go back and look and see where I got this file from. People are submitting on, uh, in the YouTube comments, people are submitting on Twitter, on Instagram, all sorts of places, so it's hard to keep track. I'll find it, I'll put the name of the designer down in the description. It might be Jessica Stone, because that's the name uh, here listed. It might not be, but they've submitted a, kind of like a photo sharing application. Um, and it looks like a profile of some sort. Okay, so that's it, just one screen, cool. Um, what do we do, what do we think? Well, you're trying to do a lot. There's a couple things I'm seeing right off the bat is, um, you know, consistency issues, uh, hierarchy issues, real estate issues, and so let's just address a few of those and then we'll go in and try to smooth a few of those things out. This hamburger menu feels disjointed, this icon. Um, it could be preference, it could be personal preference, it might, totally might be, but I feel like if you space uh, iconography elements too far apart, they start to look like individual elements instead of looking like one coherent icon. So I would, I would literally just take the icon pieces, like the hamburger pieces, and move them a little closer together. That's better. That's a little thing, but it's a thing. Okay, the next thing, Lack of consistency. I feel like we have this big banner image back here, which is great. You have this avatar, which is a circle, but then you have this card like shaped element, like rounded rectangle. Down here you have rounded rectangles with shadows. Down here you have like crisp edge squares with no shadows. So there's a lot of differentiation of shape and it, it comes together looking a little bit messy, like you didn't have intentionality. So one of the first things you can do to kind of remedy that is probably straighten that card, and maybe even think about getting rid of these cards, because that immediately gives me some sort of like rhyme or reason. Now we're working with really two types of shapes for the most part. We're working with, you know, uh, hard edge squares and ellipses, like full on circles. So that's something you could do. I'm not saying it's the solution, it's just a start. I think you have a serious hierarchy problem in this, in this design that I really want to try to solve, which is, I can't tell what to look at first when I'm first looking at the design. Am I supposed to really care about Jessica Stone's profile information? Because these suggested followers or follow suggestions down here, the avatars are almost the same size. So it brings my eye down there. They share equal weight of, of importance and that's, that's not a good thing. Also, is the following count more important than the name? So you have some hierarchical issues that I feel like we need to work out. I think that the call to actions should probably be much bigger. So let's let's work on that really quick. And let's give some uh, differentiation here. Let's let's go medium. Let's go regular on these uh, on the words followers and following and then we can be bold up here. So with the same size of typography, I still even have a little bit of differentiation there in that. So I, I like that as well. You know what? I just want to get rid of, I don't, I usually in this series, I really want to try to stick to the heart uh, or the intention of the project, but I can't help myself. I just want to get rid of these follow suggestions and bring the work up. Cause doesn't that just look so much better? It just gets to the word, it just simplifies, right? So I'm gonna cheat my own rule of, of not sticking <laughs> to the content and the heart of what you've done here, and I'm gonna just cheat a little bit. Sorry, I apologize. I really wish also, sorry to add like another thing, but I really wish you had like one more stack, because I hate this balance of two and two. 
like two call to actions, two stats. I wish you had one more stat like right there and we could center align that bad boy. And then this one could be like, I don't know, like uh, 342 and we could call it posts. You know, something like that would just be so nice just to off balance that. And post is gonna be smaller. So let's just do the sneaky thing like that. Put post in the middle. I mean, I think all in all good work. I think you wanna get, the, the hard part about this is you wanna get so much on the screen. You wanna relay so much information, but if you wanna really relay that information, it's hard to do in a single screen design, right? Because usually applications are holistic. There's more screens to them. There's more things to do. And so thinking about throwing the kitchen sink in one screen can be hard to do. I would always encourage people to think less is more. Um, can I section this out? Can I put this in a different place or space? Um, but really in the end, working on space and hierarchy would help this design like just just so much. So those are my thoughts. I uh, hope you enjoyed them. Well, that's it. That's episode one of Rework in the Bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to the designers who submitted their work. You can find links to their work down in the description. You can also find a link to some instructions on if you want to submit your work to get reworked on this series. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and walkthroughs just like this one. So maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and reworking things until you love them. I'll see you in the next one.